Once you start to trade in stocks and options, you're going to want to know everything possible about what affects the price of an option. Because we're using options in our positions for uh, at least the monthly, uh, the money every month trades, you'd want to know exactly what it is that affects the value of the options that you own or the options that you're selling. And those variables include not only the strike price, uh, the expiration of the option, but also what's called the Greeks. The Greeks include a number of different variables. The delta, the gamma, the theta, the vega, and rho, which has to do with interest rates. Let's start with delta. Delta is the measure of the change of an option's value with respect to a one-point move in the underlying, which could either be a stock, a future, a commodity, or an ETF. Now, calls always have a positive delta, and puts always have a negative delta. So how do deltas work in relation to our option positions? Well, delta measures how much we can expect an option to increase or decrease in price after a one-point move in the underlying stock or ETF. So in this case, let's take a look at our position statement here for a second. Our current position statement states that our diamond position has a delta of negative 16. What that means, basically, is that if the diamonds were to increase in price by $1, and we are short delta on that position, then we would lose $15 for each $1 price increase in the diamonds. So for every point that the diamonds go up, we will lose $16. Think of delta as, a, as, as an alternative to owning stock. If you are short the stock, what do you want it to do in order to make a profit? You'd want it to go down. So if a price of our diamonds went down by $1, we would gain a, a $15 profit. So you can look at the delta as a substitute for the way the option will act depending on whether the, option, uh, the stock itself, the underlying, goes up or it goes down. And you can tell based on the delta what will happen to your profit position. That's the most practical application of the Greeks. Determining what will happen to your position if the underlying stock or ETF goes up by a dollar or down by a dollar. As you can see from this, our overall position and our overall totals for delta for all of our positions is minus 21. That means we are short 21, um, sh you can think of delta as shares of stock, we are short 21 deltas on our entire position. If our position would, would move down by a point, in this position we would gain $22 if the price of our of the overall market were to decline. On our individual positions, however, the diamonds would increase by $15.63 for each drop, one point drop in the diamonds. Our EEM position would actually gain $0.58 cents by an increase in the price of the, EE, of, in the EEM by $1. The IWM would increase by $22, $23 if the price were to go up by $1. And the SPY position would increase by $33 if we were to drop a point in the SPY. The overall aggregate total of these positions is called the net delta. We are net delta and we are short delta by 24. To make this as easy as possible, think of this as an indicator to tell you what would happen if the price of your underlying position were to increase or decrease by one dollar. In this case, since we are net short 24 deltas, if the stock, if our position would go down by a dollar, we would gain a profit of $23. If it goes up by a dollar, we would lose $24. So it's only an indicator. 
what when it becomes really significant is when these numbers become so large that it's quite obvious that an adjustment is going to be necessary so that we don't lose a great deal of money. When the delta becomes negative 300, for example, and the market is railing up as it is today, uh, it's up uh, 113 points as represented by the Dow Jones Industrial Average, then we would be losing close to $300. That's a significant position that needs adjustment, otherwise we could be um, in a position to lose a lot of money. As it is, we're only 19 shares short. So it's very, a short delta. So it's very, very close to neutral. And that's not a bad position to be in, given our other Greeks. Let's move on to gamma to see how that variable works in relation to the price of the, of our entire portfolio and individual positions. Gamma is the measure of the change of an options delta with respect to a one-point move in the underlying stock, or ETF, or future. So in other words, gamma itself does n is not a variable on directly on the price of the option, but rather gamma is the measure of the change in the delta. So it has more of an effect on the delta than it does on the directly on the price of the option itself. When buying an option, gamma is positive. When selling an option, gamma is negative, regardless of whether it's a call or a put. This often uh, confuses people because uh, you have to keep in mind that gamma is the measurement of the rate of change of the delta, not of the option. In practical terms, a positive gamma is something that you want if you believe the market is going to be making a large move. If you are positive gamma, you're, it will affect the delta in a way that will increase the price of the option if a mar large move is coming in the market. Long puts and calls are long gamma, and you make more money when the market moves. If you're short calls and puts, on the other hand, you're short gamma, and that means that you do not want the market to move too much. In our case, almost all of our positions are short gamma. We don't mind if our positions move, but not by too much. Normally when you're short gamma, that means you're selling calls and you're selling puts. So when you have a short gamma overall position, you are also going to be long theta. And theta is where most of the money is made. So let's move on to theta. The types of positions that we put on are all positive theta positions. Theta is the measure of how much an option loses value on a daily basis as time approaches expiration. Theta increases in size as it nears expiration. What this means is that the closer to expiration an option is, the quicker it loses its value. That's why I've mentioned in other videos that theta will increase as we get closer to expiration. In our case, we are positive theta on our diamond position of $6.06. .06. That means that we should collect $6.15 every single day that we hold this position until expiration as long as price remains within a certain range.